guys and welcome back first of all my hair is not wet i just kind of put it up in this to do the like self-care aesthetic before i hop into like my first day of orientation at the new hospital and how that went for me i do want to talk to you guys a little bit about self-care because first like nursing is stressful it's been a lot every day i come home and i'm super tired so i've had to like come up with my own like regimen and like schedule to keep myself sane and I wanted to give you guys like a list of like my favorite like self-care tips and like what self-care really is to me and self-care of course you know self-care is not just face masks and lighting candles even though that's exactly what we're about to do so the number one thing on the list for self-care is not actually skincare it's actually time with like friends and family like genuine friends and family which I've been putting a lot of like effort into especially this winter especially because i love winter time i love the coziness of the season and i like being around my family i don't know spending time around good people like makes you feel good especially like you know now in this day and age we always on our phone and the only time we really kind of communicating with other people is through our phone so in order to escape the metaverse joking i don't know it just makes me it makes my day a lot better when I'm around the people who care about me and the people I care about that I want to see do well and like making plans and I, not flaking on them like making plans going through with it hanging out going to the event just going out with people I'm going to show you guys some clips of what like a, a couple of little like snippets of like my like holiday season with my family it's December finally and if you know me like if you really really know me the holidays is my favorite time of year. Me and my sister just put up the tree yesterday. And today is the first day of orientation. Get dressed and show you guys a little fit. I'm a little bit like I'm excited, but I know we're not gonna get into any like really hands-on stuff. I know we're probably just gonna get our badges and like paperwork type of thing. Second definitely is skincare. Ooh, so that's the bottom part. <laughs> My skin has been acting up, but I feel like it's always acting up. But I always try to think like your skin is wants to heal, so I'm trying to figure out like a really good skincare routine. Let me show you what I've been using. I've been using this, and I think it's working. It's expensive. I think it's like fifteen dollars. I always get it from Target, but I really like it. I think the third tip is getting dressed you know that whole saying like look good feel good it's not like it's not like just a saying like you really do feel good or have like a good day or feel refreshed when you take a shower do your hair or get ready for the day like i started to take a little more extra time and like making myself feel how i want to feel and then i also keep reading these quotes about like the woman you want to be show up as her every day and like you know how we can all be lazy and then like it can be hard to do that but i started like curling my hair more putting on the perfume i want to wear and like i feel like i'm walking around you know like main character syndrome and i'm like oh i'm that girl you know and then doing my nails so it's so expensive for me to go out and get my nails done so i kind of do them myself but like i always feel like i don't know i feel really good after i got like a new fresh set doing my nails and my hair one thing with for work as i said like in the other video i can't have really really long nails for work so that's that so that's three my fourth big tip is to like clean your space i think a clean space a clear space is a clean mind i try to clean my room more often even though as soon as i start looking for one thing it could be a sock everything just goes all over the place but i try to clean my room just a little bit more often and organize things like i'm trying to be more disciplined in doing the things that 
make me feel better. But keeping your space clean and keeping your clothes fresh or doing laundry like more than you used to or like, I don't know, I use Sundays as like self-care Sundays because that's the time that I'm off and that's when I do all my laundry and that's when I do like a real good clean of my room and the bathroom and I don't know, it just makes me feel better when like a clear space, clear mind, you know, type of thing. It's also going to the gym. This is the first time I've been back in the gym in like two weeks, so I've been bad with this, but like even working out for 20 minutes after your 12 hour shift can make you like feel really good. And if you have time to pick up a good book and read, like reading makes you feel better too, like trust me. reading this book right now though it's called the defining decade i think it's such a good book like even if you don't normally read or like like to read i think you would like this book i think any young person even if you're in your 30s or however old you are you're gonna like the book it's like it's very insightful and it makes you want to do more it makes you think of all the possibilities and things that i could go after or things that i could like accomplish or like what i really want this decade to be about that's not what this video is about though but this whole entire video was just like trying to give you guys tips to make sure that you find time for yourself and if you can't find time to do the things that you like to do outside of work you have to make time because like nursing is stressful but any job even like if you're just a really busy woman and you work a lot it's stressful and if all that you do is go to work and come home and sleep and like that's your week you're not going to be happy so that's why i wanted to make this video because i had to kind of figure out like what are the things that i like to do that like I don't know, make me feel better, make my days go better, go back easier, especially when I'm off, on um, my off days. Leave a comment down below if you have like a different tip um, for what helps you, especially after a long 12 hour shift or what you do to like relax or wind down or things that you like to do. But yeah, yeah, I hope this video will help and thank you guys for watching. Wonderful time! Oh, yeah. Okay!